biggest barriers facing women pursuing STEM careers um, are less about, you know, sort of education and opportunities, but more about inspiration. So I think it really goes to the lack or the shortage of um, what's known as sort of visibility. So, so other women in, um, you know, in STEM roles around the community or around the, the different professions. So, you know, having the visibility of people that are doing, that look like you, that are doing jobs that you would like to do. Um, similarly, probably a shortage of mentors and peers, because again, there are not, um, we don't have the numbers of women in STEM careers that we would like to have. Um, and, and that just, I think, you know, helps to, to limit a bit. Um, but I will say it's getting better. Um, you know, I've, I've been in this industry for 30 years and, and uh, it, you know, the, the number of women in the profession is, grows every year. And I think with that, um, the opportunities grow as well and the barriers are starting to fall away. So there are myriad benefits to having more women in STEM related careers. And what's really great today is that this is no longer a matter of opinion. There are tons of studies and data available that show that actually organizations perform better in all metrics when they have a more diverse workforce. And that includes having women in STEM careers. So, so it's no longer a question. I think this is why you see a lot of organizations really stepping up their um, diversity and inclusion efforts. It's because it's a matter of success and it's a matter of um, organizational performance. And, and I think, you know, beyond sort of organizations, I think it's critical to the world. I think, you know, women being involved in STEM related careers is going to benefit um, our society. I think it, it's been shown that when women are um, empowered, and uh, successful, they tend to contribute much more to the communities and their families. And I think that's um, something that's really gonna, that, that's really beneficial overall. So I was inspired to get into engineering really um, through my high school career. Um, I was always strong in math and science. I wasn't sure right off the bat what I what I wanted to do. Um, I had some really strong teachers in, in high school and they encouraged me to to pursue something in the STEM area. And along the way, I think I just took a little bit of knowledge from various people that I would encounter, primarily in the early days, obviously professors and in college, um, most of them um, male. And I think that's important um, to acknowledge that um, there are a lot of mentors in this industry and, and for women to advance in STEM careers, we, we, it's important to have both male and female mentors. So my path was not super linear. Um, I started out in engineering school, but within engineering school, it, I, I switched a couple of times until I settled on my uh, my specific line of work. So I think um, that's also important. An important message is that, uh, you know, you sort of have to take a right turn or a left turn here and there along the way, and, and ultimately you'll find your way. So my advice to um, any of the girls and young women out there that are interested in engineering careers is absolutely to go for it. Um, don't give up. You know, if, if you hit a wall where you think maybe there's something that's not um, resonating with you, um, engineering and STEM careers as a whole are extremely broad. So we need you. We need women and strong uh, young women in the industry. Uh, and there's got to be a place for you somewhere. So, you know, make a change if needed, but, but stay in the game. Um, find mentors that, uh, that, that feel good to you and that, and that can encourage you and be positive. And I think overall, in your career, go to the places where you feel valued. Find the people who get you, who understand you, who value you, and are going to support you in your career. I think if you follow that, uh, success will come.